Here's the field for the $50,000 Mockingbird Stakes. Number one is Midshipman's Dance, owned by John Holloman and Randy Howe, conditioned by Robertino Diodoro. Christian Torres back aboard, looking for his fourth win today. Number two is Sharp Tune, owned by Douglas Scharbauer and trained by Steve Aspison. His son, Keith Aspison, has the call. Number three, Edith Strudis and jockey Martin Schwad. Fausto Gutierrez trains for owners RT Racing Stable. Number four, Extreme Racing Stables, Extreme Smoke Show. Conditioned by Mac Robertson, Manny Esquivel in the irons. Number five, Divine Gal. Owned by Norma Lee Stockseth and Todd Dunn, Francisco Arietta teams up with trainer Donnie Von Hemmel. Rounding out the field is Tanya Showers, number six. Owned by Joey Keith Davis, Mach 1 Racing, and Larry Romero, conditioned by Chris Hartman, and Chris Landeros retains the mount. That's the field, ladies and gentlemen, for race number nine, the inaugural running of the $150,000 Mockingbird Stakes. They'll reach the starting gate in approximately five minutes. And they're off in the inaugural running of the Mockingbird Stakes. Edith Strudis, Sharp Tune, best into stride, and Sharp Tune takes it to him. Sharp Tune from the word go, strides clear by two. Edith Strudis runs in the second spot. Extreme Smoke Show, the gray right behind her. Midshipman's Dance in the fourth position, six lengths off the tearaway leader, Sharp Tune, and a gap of a length and a half to Divine Gal and Tanya Showers. They approach the forward turn run. Sharp Tune wings it on the lead. She's all alone, but she's gone very fast. 21 and 3 fifth seconds that first quarter mile for Sharp Tune, who rounds the forward turn, three on top. Extreme Smoke Show takes the second spot from Edith Strudis. She's calling it an afternoon. Then comes Tanya Showers making up ground with Midshipman's Dance, and Divine Gal's got to get going. She's got to pass the ball. Five behind needs to pick it up at the top of the lane. Sharp Tune, let's see what she's got for the final 316th. Sharp Tune, a length and a half in front. Midshipman's Dance, Extreme Smoke Show. Tanya Showers is getting going on the outside. Sharp Tune getting leg weary. Here comes Tanya Showers. Here comes Midshipman's Dance. And Tanya Showers on the outside. Midshipman's Dance diving to the line. And she's going to get it. Midshipman's Dance wins the Mockingbird and gives Christian Torres four wins today. Tanya Showers second. Sharp Tune third. And then came, I believe, either Edith Strudis or Extreme Smoke Show. Didn't see who ran fourth. And now in the winner's circle, presenting the winning trophy for the Mockingbird Stakes, Mark and Stacy Braziel presenting the winning trophy to the Mockingbird Stakes winners. A very big day for jockey Christian Torres. Your fourth win on the program, your third stakes of the meet, piloting Midshipman's Dance to a 5-1 to one upset in the inaugural running of the Mockingbird for trainer Robertino Diodoro and owners John Holloman and Randy Haug. Now sat off some very quick fractions and you just hugged that rail. Talk me through your trip. Yeah, no, that was uh, the, you know, the, there was a lot of speed. I know they were going to run away. My filly don't have much speed from the gate, so I just got to let her settle and make a run with her. And she's a big, nice filly, long, big strides. And um, I knew she was going to be there for me, so I just, on the rail and um, she went through a, just a second start and she was very professional. So um, all the credit is to Robertino, you know, for getting her ready for this race and um, just grateful with a nice day. Yeah, really impressive score. Just her second career start in the stakes debut and a little bit of celebration in the Torres family from what I understand. It's your wife's birthday. Yeah, it's her birthday. So we, we enjoying um, her weekend and um, so I'm happy, you know, I can win races in her, um, her birthday week. So we're happy. <laughs> Already off to an amazing start. Take tomorrow off. We are. So Midshipman's Dance gets the job done in the inaugural Mockingbird.